Hello, my name is Steve Olson. I'm the manager of training services for Mesa. In Inventor 2016, Autodesk introduced the ability to have a DWG underlay in Inventor part file. This workflow is designed to allow you to dynamically link a profile of an extrusion or revolve to an AutoCAD DWG file. This workflow will also take that to another level where you're able to dynamically link the thickness or the depth of the extrusion to the AutoCAD file as well. So my first step here would be to start an, auto, or an Inventor IPT. So I'm going to start a standard IPT and because a link is going to be generated here when I uh, attach or import the DWG file, I want to save this so I have the file saved. So I'm going to call this upper plate. So now from my 3D model tab, my create panel, my import command, I'm going to start connecting to my DWG file. Now one thing to make note of here while I'm, I'm grabbing this file is it will not allow you to grab an Inventor DWG. It has to be an AutoCAD DWG. You'll get a warning message if you grab an Inventor DWG. So now it wants me to pick a plane to bring that file in. I'm going to bring it on my XY plane and it also wants me to grab the origin um, that I want for the, f for the drawing. So now you can see here it's telling me that it's uh, inserting the DWG file as an underlay and it's going to create a dynamic link there. So I'm going to accept that. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch. So now I'm in a sketch file with that AutoCAD uh, DWG underlay. There is a new specialized project geometry that will project from that DWG underlay. So I'm going to grab some geometry here of this model. So that's going to be my profile. The other aspect I want to talk about is bringing over the depth of the extrusion. So here's a profile view, or the end view, showing the depth of that. What I'm going to do, now that I have that projected in, I'm going to give this a reference dimension. So I'm going to try to dimension it. It's going to tell me it's going to create a driven dimension, which is that's what I want it to do. I want it to dry, be a driven dimension. I'll accept that. And now I'll use the dimension properties to give that dimension a meaningful name. I'm going to call it thickness. So now that I have all this, I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to begin to extrude my part file. Here it's going to want to know how far to extrude this. I'm actually going to use my thickness parameter that I created based off of the driven dimension. So now it's going to be that thick. I can also visibly turn off my underlay. So there I have my part. So I'm going to save this real quick and close it. Now to demonstrate this link, I'm going to open up the AutoCAD file, make a change, and then return to Inventor so you can see the update. So I'm going to open up my AutoCAD file that was the, the underlay in my other document. For sake of some changes here, I'm going to stretch the length of this piece and also the thickness of the part. So there I made that part longer. Just using stretch here to do this. So now I've made those two changes. I'll save this file and I'll close it. So now I'm back to Inventor. I'll reopen my part. You'll notice that there's an update required based off of the fact that the AutoCAD file changed. So I'll use the update here to, to update that you'll see that the part got longer and the part got thicker based off of the fact that those two dimensions got changed. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me to my email address on the screen. And again, 
thank you for watching.